Hey there creepy collectors, how's it going? It's Douglas here at Drum Boy Productions bringing you another Scream and Ghost Face related video. And today's video is just a related video, no Scream or Ghost Face masks present in this video, but it definitely applies to the history. Because today's video is an updated video on the Ghostmaker kits. Now for those of you watching who don't know what the Ghostmaker kits are, they are the original product that inspired Fun World's line of Fantastic Faces ghost masks. There's already an in-depth video on the Ghost Makers on my channel, so if you want to learn more about these or see other copies, go check out that video. As this video almost serves kind of as an update to that video or a second half to that video, we have some new Ghost Maker masks here and some new information for you all. So what all new information do I have regarding the Ghost Maker kits? Well, when I recorded the last video, at that point in time, an original Ghost Maker had never surfaced. We had seen just a couple of pictures or videos of them out there, kind of proving that they did exist, but we had never seen one modern day in any collector's hand. Well, not too long after that video, an original Ghostmaker kit was finally found, and it was found by none other than the creator, Lauren Githens. Lauren went searching just to see if he happened to have one around, and he did find one. Unfortunately, it wasn't in superb condition. The uh, insert had been rat eaten a little bit, you know, but for the most part, everything else was still there and still complete. Paint, sandpaper, brushes, everything. And most importantly, the mask itself was found. This was great news because yet again, we've never seen one of these modern day. Now the unfortunate news here is that it wasn't a whaler because I mean, everybody wanted to see a whaler as Scream fans, Ghostface fans, everybody wanted to see one of those pop up. And even though the mask found wasn't a whaler like everybody had hoped, it's still a really cool mask and also gives us a little bit more insight on these masks, or at least, I guess, the size of them. And what we have here is a beautiful pull from that buck. So I would like to present to all of you a recast off of an original Ghostmaker. Here we have the version of the Screech mask. The thing that really shocked me about this wasn't that we found one finally, because I felt like it was only a matter of time before one would eventually be found, even if it was like nearly destroyed, but more so the size of it. We kind of thought these would be like normal sized masks, but they're pretty massive. Just to put it up to my face to give you guys some reference, and I have a pretty big head, and uh, also of course if you want to see a nice little close up of the mask there. I'm sure many of you who are Fun World fans, or at least know the masks, can recognize the two masks that were pretty much made out of this because it was two different versions of Ghostmaker masks with features swapped to make the versions of Fun World masks. But on the whole size thing, November Novelties actually did already make their version of the same mask. You can kind of get a decent little look at them there. And just to show you a little bit of the size difference, the real ones, the real Ghostmaker masks were freaking huge. So that's pretty big information. Yet again, one of those had never been seen, had never popped up, been in any collector's hands, anything like that. So that was kind of a huge deal. And right after they found that, November Novelties nearly hit the jackpot because they found what we've all dreamed of finding for years and years, which is a box full of ghost makers. I remember being sent this picture and my heart dropping. I was like, holy shit, we finally found them. They finally have surfaced. I just wanted to be able to see you know, versions of this. Like seeing this, even though what I'm holding here is a replica, I know that this was pulled off of a surviving original and that's really cool to see what they actually did look like. Because even though there are a few pictures of the products as they were being marketed at that Halloween Expo back in 1990, there weren't really a lot of pictures or video of the actual products in use or out and about being used by consumers. And thankfully that has also changed since that discovery. Unfortunately, they were not able to procure the whole box of Ghostmakers and the person that has it has not been able to send any more pictures or anything, so we don't have any eye candy for you guys. But since then, more pictures of the original Ghostmakers have been found. There's not a whole lot, just a picture video here and there that we've been able to find, but that at least does prove that these were sold to the public during that time period. Oh, and also since then, there have been more pictures from that original Halloween Expo in 1990 that show the original Ghostmaker concept pieces, not the hard plastic masks, but the ones that were conceptualized before then that were made out of buckram. Well, they also have a replica of little Sarah Spook. As many of you out there know, what used to be called the Sarah Spook mask for all those years by Fun World collectors is probably my favorite vintage ghost mask design or Fun World mask design period. I just love it. And in fact, the Sarah Spook mask is what inspired my Drown Ghoul mask. It's kind of loosely based off of that same vibe. And now, here in my hands, I have a replica of the mask that inspired the original Sarah Spook mask, which is the actual Sarah Spook mask. Just to give you guys a good look at it, here you go. Absolutely adorable ghost. 
really reminds me of like a Casper style ghost because it looks so friendly but also kind of spooky. So yeah, there you have it guys. I think that's pretty much everything for today's video. If you guys are interested in picking one of these up yourself, you can contact November Novelties and they sell it yet again, the whole kits so you can put them together yourself. You can have just the mask already assembled and already painted, or you can just get the blank to keep as a blank. Here's a nice little look at the insert. This image here is a painting that I did. This is a recreation of the original Ghostmaker artwork that was done by Bill Bowes. I always loved the artwork and always wanted to recreate it. Whenever I saw November Novelties was making these replicas, obviously we just had to do this. And also on the back here, there's some more artwork I created. These little thumbnail paintings of each individual ghost style. I'm pretty proud of it. I'm proud of how the artwork turned out and I love how the masks turned out by November Novelties. As you guys can see, I have the full host of them back here. Obviously one of them is currently sitting down because I showed it to you, but well guys, there you have it. I think that's pretty much it for today's video. I will be adding a part at the end of this video of me painting and finishing these up, probably some worn shots or some displayed shots, but I think that pretty much covers it for the information in this video. If you guys are interested in picking up one of these for yourself, go hit up November Novelties. They can sell you a blank of these. They can already finish up a cast for you, whatever you want. Oh, and one last thing. There also may be a new version of an updated concept, Ghostmaker, coming out somewhat soon from Lauren Githens. I've seen him working on it for a little while. The mask looks sweet. He's actually working on some packaging designs with the original creator of the original artwork that I replicated here, Bill Bowes. And yeah, it just looks really, really sweet. So I hope they become available. I hope we can at least get one for the collection. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Love you all. Thank you for watching and see you next time.